Hello, my little peach blossoms. Welcome to the Daily Allison. Um, it is Tuesday. We just had a great three-day weekend. At least mine was great, and I hope yours was too. Um, so the response to the Angora's music was so overwhelming that I have now been offered like 15 record deals. Um, and I'm like, no, I'm not into that anymore. So... I appreciate the fact that you rushed over a contract over the long three-day weekend, but no. Um, but what I am going to do for you guys is show you a couple more songs. Um, and the funny thing, get ready to laugh, is that these songs I'm about to show you are actually a couple that were um, more popular than the ones I showed you originally. And then you might be like, why did I show you the other ones first? And I'll tell you. It's because there's more of my... Um, fancy guitar work in the other ones. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. The second one has some fancy guitaring. But it's the first one. It's almost as if my guitar playing is what dragged down some songs, which I'm joking, but it's actually, I wouldn't rule that out. Um, side note, a friend of mine from Orange County was in my apartment recently and was looking at my photos, and he was like, wow, you're really living in the past. And I said, that's tubular. No, I said, um, get it, because that'd be something from the past. I said, no, I'm really not. It's that I have a digital camera now, so I don't print out photos and put them in frames, and all the photos that are in my frames are from back when I was in the band, when I actually used the camera. My point, though, is that, um, by showing you these songs, though, and being all like, hey, look at me, I used to play in a band. It's kind of like I am living in the past. Anyway, about the songs. Um, Steak Knife was one of our most popular songs, and that was about this guy that we know who, true story, held up a nun with a steak knife. But this whole time I thought it was this one guy, and then I only recently found out that it was a different guy. So, hmm, I realize that means nothing to you, but to me it's, it's different. Um... And then the second song is this song called Sick Dance, and that was also one of our more popular songs. We had two songs that were in movies. One was in Down and Out with the Dolls, and one was in Pray for Rock and Roll, and this song was in one of those movies, and I can't remember which. Okay, here we go!
I forgot to tell you the funniest sort of part, which is that that second song that I just showed you, Sick Dance, I don't know if you noticed, but my hair was up, um, I had the front of it like up in a clip, which is how I used to wear it when we played, but right before we played that song, I would take my hair down and kind of shake it out because I felt that that was more conducive to the rock of the song, so. How lame. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, I love you.